banks now, banks don't want you in the banks. Do you notice that? This is the involvement of banks over the years. They do not want you and I in the banks. We're cretins. They don't want to deal with us. Let those assholes go outside. They have dispensing machines. That's where they want you, outside. <laughs> the rain, sleet, snow, howling northern winds, and we're standing there like a load of assholes. They're all in the central heating looking out. Mm. <laughs> look at those prats. Come on, have a look at these prats. Yeah, look, look at these prats. And what, a, what an ideal place for muggers. I mean, really, what a great place for muggers. If I was a mugger, that's where I'd go. I'd stand by the bank. There'd be a queue of muggers. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to mug you in a moment. Oh, good. Yes, fine. Thank you. <laughs> How much are you taking out? I was thinking of taking out 40. We'll take out 60, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and the American banks have actually introduced uh, a queuing system, which is quite different. They have, in the middle of a bank, like a, an area which is like a corral. It's got ropes all around it. And a sign which says, enter here. And then there's little tracks where you go up, and you go down, and you go up, and you go down, and you go up, and you go down. And there's a sign that says, wait here to be serviced. <laughs> and I think to myself, why do that? Why do 70 yards? Why well, just climb over the rope? <laughs> so that's what I did. I just climbed over the rope. And this fellow with a big gun came over to me and says, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, I'm just climbing back over the rope. Now the system has crept into our post office. Have you been on our post offices lately? You have this great meandering queue of people, all wandering around, <laughs> bored, brainless, zonked out. Just going. <laughs> There's music. <laughs> they have a big television set. Have you noticed they have a big television set to show you all how wonderful the post office as you stand there getting older and older and older. They're showing you things like facelifts, <laughs> nose jobs, beds that you can straighten your back on, all those things. And we're all wandering around. <laughs> I've seen people go around the post office three or four times and not buy a stamp. <laughs> They're just sunk, they're all going. <laughs> huh? oh, yeah. Have you ever noticed when, you, when you're there and one of the areas becomes vacant and you, you don't notice it? The queue will go. <laughs> I don't like those big queues. I want individual queues. That's what I want. Individual queues for individual people's needs. I think in every, every post office, there should be a queue for foreigners. <laughs> there should, I don't mind. I, I like foreigners, but I don't want to be in a queue behind them. I don't want to wait and wait and wait while they go through all that foreign crap. I want to get on with it. It should say, for people who cannot speak English. <laughs> behind an Italian and he's going I wanna I wanna I wanna know how uh, how uh, how will you say uh, um, the, the uh, you know you know what I mean I uh, um, uh, I'm thinking, oh shit <laughs> if they had a pen here I'd stick it in your head <laughs> There should be cues for people who know nothing about anything. <laughs> it should say, this is an arsehole's cue. <laughs> he knows nothing about anything. <laughs> they're, always, they're there, and I go, um, hey, uh, do, you think, um, do you think I should, uh, this, uh, uh, parcel post, parcel post, is it better to send parcel post by sea or, Maybe by air, uh, uh, train. 
train. Can I send a parcel post by train to France? Uh, no, I can't, can I? Oh, I could if the channel tunnel was open. Yeah, I suppose I could. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Grannies. <laughs> Did you ever get behind a granny in a queue? <laughs> all grannies want to talk about is her grandchildren. That's all they have in life. <laughs> Nobody has to ask them. They just volunteer all this crap information. <laughs> Yes, yes, I've got three grandchildren. <laughs> New Zealand, yes, my daughter Sophie. She married this chappy called Rye. I didn't really like him, but she liked him, so I suppose I couldn't say anything about it. But they have three children, this little Rodney. Rodney, ha, 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 Rodney. Such a lovely little boy. Ha, 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 ha. And Sylvia. And I'm sending them the birthday presents because it's over. And I'm standing behind her thinking, you old geriatric. I say die and let me buy my damn <laughs>